guys, so hello. We're just back, aren't we? And in this video, we're going through 10 things that we all did in exams. So let's do this. Oh, Joe, I just got my exam timetable. I've got one on Monday, one on Tuesday, and one next month. What you got? I've got 47, and they're all tomorrow. <laughs> hey! Right, next. Now, this is a classic thing, right? It always happens where there's that one exam paper where there's a question, and you just have no idea. You just don't. It's just, what even is it? Oh, Pythagoras' theorem. Yeah, who? Who is he? Right, it's just annoying. And you just have to, you just have to blag it. Because your teacher says, doesn't she? Like, oh, make sure, you, make sure you sound confident in your writing. So you just have to, oh yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Pythagoras' theorem, he's a great geezer. I've seen him down a pub a few times, actually. Right, next up, and this one's about invigilators, right? These are the people that run the exam. I guess they're, they're kind of in control of the whole process. And I'm certain, right, they're, they're the same four people, right, that go to every single school in the world. I'll give you a couple of examples. So first off, you got this guy. Here's your calculator and examination paper. Good luck with the exam. I hope you do really, really well. Really, really well. Yeah, uh, really well. Mm, yes, yes. Better known as the creepy invigilator. What? What's this? Why? What, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? It's that sort of thing, isn't it? He's sort of yeah. You're a nice guy. You think he's friendly at first, but mm, can you stop looking at my penis now? No, that was a bit too far. Another type of invigilator, right? I guess I guess you call this guy the leader. Right? He, he's, he's the wolf pack manager, if you know what I mean. And he basically just wants everyone in the room to know their place, you know, as, as you would. Students, you must obey my commands. No cheating, no looking, no breathing, no living. You're all worthless pieces of shit! Ah! <laughs> right, now this next one. I, 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 oh, the amount of times this happened to me is just... Oh. What? What? Ah! ah. Oh, Theo, so... B for question two, what are you saying? Oh, oh, oh what, uh, hey. Mate, it was C for question two. No, no it wasn't. You're, you're chatting raucous there. Jameson, back, back, back me up on this. No, cause it was C, innit? <laughs> Silent night. You're literally just so confident that you absolutely smashed it and then everyone else is just Oh, it's just so annoying the little looks they give you as well. Like, are you dumb? Are, are you broken? You thought it was B. Oh, it, you're... Go, go, go die. Now, if this one hasn't happened to you, <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, take a look. Students, I remind you that cheating is prohibited. You're playing shit. Oh, I just have no idea what to write. I wonder how everyone else is getting on. Your brain's dead. You're trying so hard, obviously. I guess you're just looking for some inspiration. You start counting how many windows there are. Like, what, why, what's that gonna do? I don't know. And then, oh, freaking Invigilator General 678 just starts walking by. <laughs> you accidentally get eye contact with him and you just transform into some sort of actress. The second you get eye contact, it's like, oh, yeah, uh, th that's a good idea. I'll just pretend to write something down. Yes, I don't even know what you're doing, but it's funny. Right, so next, and obviously in an exam, you have to be completely silent, right? The second you get into that room, there is no speaking aloud whatsoever. However, right, in every single exam, there's always that one legend. The second he steps one foot out of that exam hall. Whoa, oh, that was so easy. Oh, I'd hate to still be stuck in that exam room. They're all a bunch of wankers. Ha! Anyways, I'm off to get some nice, warm food. <laughs> was that you? Be honest, was that, were you that guy? Let me know in the comments, because I'm coming for you. Right, so this next thing, I don't know if it happens in every single school. However, in my school, you were allowed to bring a lucky toy. At 16 years old, a lucky toy. 
<laughs> I can't keep the Buxton Wather wrapper on my bottle, but I can bring a toy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what even is that? That's really over the top. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Obviously, there's other little things, for example, like... I mean, I've never done this, but writing on your hand, maybe a couple of answers. I've never done that, so I don't even, you know. But if you have, right, don't. That's naughty behaviour. And also, exams are so annoying. But on a level, when you want to go pursue a career, grades are all you have at the beginning. Before you, you know, get experience or whatever. So you need to make sure you have the best you can possibly get to give you the best chance of, you know, having success. Anyways, I actually tried so hard. Like, I really, really did. Because obviously, I, I didn't plan to do the whole YouTube thing. Originally, I guess I was, I was thinking I was going to be a filmmaker. And I was like, oh, I have to get the best grades because I'm going to university and all that stuff. And uh, I think I ended up with, like, three A stars, seven A's, some B's, and uh, like, a C. And, you know, it turned out all right. One of the A-stars was biology. I don't even know how that happened. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, it'd be sick if you could leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new. Good luck with your exams. And I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a B. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh.